A spoon is probably the simplest fishing lure out there. It's a shiny chunk of metal with a hook in it, but they're amazingly effective at catching fish. Today we're taking a close look at all the variety of today's spoon lures and how spoons came to be. The spoon is a classic lure that's been around for hundreds of years if not longer. There are claims that polished clamshells were used thousands of years ago and this began the age of the spoon lure. The story goes on that J.T. Buell was the inventor of the modern spoon in the mid-1800s when he was eating on a boat and dropped his metal spoon into a lake. Watching it flutter down into the water gave him an idea that resulted in the modern spoon lure. If you look at one of today's spoons, many of them still resemble a spoon that you'd eat with. Cut the handle off and add a hook and now it's a fishing lure. Buell eventually patented this idea and manufactured a variety of spoons and spinners. Spoons were so effective that other people started making their own lures out of solid chunks of metal, like this classic Mickey spoon, this Harder's metal plug that combines the look and action of a spoon and a crankbait, and this 3.5 ounce Hopkins spoon. The effectiveness of a shiny piece of metal is now replicated in all kinds of fishing lures like spinner baits, inline spinners, underspins, and chatter baits. These lures all rely on a shiny piece of metal that draws a fish in and entices it to strike. If you've used a spoon, chances are you've used this classic, the original Daredevil spoon in red and white. Michigan-based Eppinger Lures still manufactures these along with the Red Eye Wiggler and many others. These days, daredevils are made in many different color patterns and even have tails and small spinner blades to dress them up a bit more. Many spoons are heavy and aerodynamic, so they're popular among bank fishermen looking to make a long cast from shore. Coupled with a long rod and braided line, they can be launched incredibly far. Just like with spinner baits and inline spinners, silver colors seem to work best in clear water and under clear skies, with gold spoons working best in dark or dirty water or under cloudy skies. Painted spoons can help match the color profile of a common bait fish in your area, or can help a spoon stand out a bit more to attract a curious fish. These spoons are well matched to the colors and shapes of this golden shiner and spot tail shiner. The wobbling action of a spoon is effective at throwing flashes of light and creating a lot of vibrations. But spoons are also notorious for wobbling a bit too much and spinning around, which creates line twist. This problem is usually the worst when spoons are retrieved too fast. If you notice that your spoon spins wildly when you take it out of the water, try slowing down your retrieve. I would also recommend that you use a snap swivel or a swivel placed further up your line to reduce line twist. Small spoons are very popular for trout and salmon. Trout and salmon are sight feeders with very strong vision, so reducing extra hardware on the front of the bait is usually best for the most lifelike appearance. Tie directly to the bait in this case and use a swivel farther up your line if you're going to use one. Jigging spoons are meant to be jigged vertically off of a boat, off of a pier, or through the ice. These spoons range from very small to very heavy and can weigh several ounces or more, especially those used in salt water. They look like a darting bait fish as you pull it up, and they flutter back down toward the bottom. Some spoons are actually called flutter spoons, and these are designed to really emphasize this fluttering action to resemble a dying bait fish. Jigging spoons are often paired with rattles or glowing paint to help fish find them in deep water or under thick snow and ice cover that blocks out sunlight. Ice fishermen can't cast a spoon, so they have to rely on rattles and other ways of bringing the fish to them. Jigging spoons are effective on their own, or you may find that you catch more fish by adding a minnow or a minnow head to them. Walleyes especially really like the extra minnow head. Trolling spoons are typically lightweight spoons that are meant to be trolled at a somewhat consistent speed and are usually weighted with a sinker or a downrigger. They're not the best for casting because of their light weight. Some heavier spoons like a cyclops or a crocodile can be used for trolling at faster speeds or for casting a long way. Most of the time, spoons are best used in open water or around rocky cover. If I'm around a lot of vegetation, I think there are better options than a spoon. But, there are spoons with a single hook that are more weedless, and even some like this MEPS Timber Doodle that have a metal trailer keeper and a plastic trailer to allow for casting around vegetation or pads. If I had to narrow down my spoon collection to just a few favorites, it would be this MEPS Cyclops with a gold back, this Hammered Daredevil, a Fire Tiger Little Cleo with a silver back, this Timber Doodle for fishing around vegetation, and a small rattling jigging spoon like a Buckshot or Blue Fox. Good luck out there and thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.